to my last video, you have seen me introduce this small spring-powered bow. And it worked out uh, pretty well, except it didn't really have that much power. So I thought I remedy that by making a new version. And here it is. And uh, yeah, let me show you the details. So the first thing you would mention is probably that it's a little bit bigger than the older one. Although uh, not that much. So this one is uh, like 60 centimeters tall and this is 80. So it's still fairly compact actually. Especially compared to my recurve bow, which is uh, far larger, far longer. Doesn't even fit into the frame again. Considering the weight, it's gotten a little bit heavier, but still uh, pretty light. I would say it's now comparable to the recurve bow. So maybe, I don't know, around a kilo or a bit more maybe, two pounds. And uh, the main thing you will notice probably is that it looks a bit more complicated compared to the old one, which was rather simple. Well, there's good reasons for that. And as I will explain, the main difference, uh, of course, is uh, larger springs and uh, thus more power. So these springs combined over the lever system now provide a final draw weight of around 50 pounds or 23 kilos, which is not actually that much more than in the old bow, which at around 30. But at this uh, zero position, it already or still has like uh, 10 15 pounds of draw weight. So, over the whole distance, there's more energy transferred to on, onto the arrow. Whereas the old one had really, really not that much uh, right here, so close to zero, maybe I don't know, one or two. So, that's why this one was so much weaker. Also, you will notice that uh, this part here looks quite different uh, because I separated the two springs. They're no longer connected anymore. Um, so one spring powers one lever, essentially, or one arm. And that is because in the old one, there was this issue with this parallelogram effect. So that the center point here shifts off the central axis. And yeah, that's really not ideal. So for that reason, I separated this. And also I think it uh, looks a bit cooler. <laughs> um, a main uh, new feature as well is the new quiver, which is made of these uh, two pieces, one at the bottom and one at the center. And uh, it really makes it quite more convenient to shoot. Um, I mean, it also increases the weight, of course, but uh, it's really not that, not that much. So, yeah, that's the main new features. Also, of course, I have uh, the same 3D printed arrow rest as last time with uh, using toothbrushes, which is a great system, actually. And I changed a little bit the construction of these arms because um, I noticed at the full draw length and draw weight that they uh, were starting to twist. So I pinched them a little bit here in an effort to uh, make the whole construction a bit stiffer. Well, it still uh, t rotates a bit around this point here, but it's within the flexibility of the whole system. So it's fine and uh, works actually quite well. So yeah, let's shoot this thing. Huh? So I'm starting with a uh, smaller distance here. This is around, I don't know, eight, nine or 10 meters or so. And um, I will shoot these four arrows from my quiver. And let's see how it performs. Or maybe rather how I perform because I'm really not the best archer, but uh, we will see.
So in conclusion, I really like how this turned out. It's a lot more powerful than the old one, looks better and it's more functional. Also this uh, idea of the uh, integrated quiver here, I really like. So yeah, I expect to see more content like this. And um, I think I will also take this to the next step and uh, use the system of the separated uh, energy storage and energy delivery for a crossbow next. So stay tuned for that.